Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Oh, hey, look, it's Spider Boy. Hmm. Oh, whoa, no. You are short. Oh. Ultramaximus back with another toy review, and today we're taking a look at another Marvel Legends figure, and it's the Iron Spider from Avengers Infinity War. So this is the first figure of the upcoming movie that I have picked up, and in the Marvel Legends line anyway, and um, it's really about the only one in the entire line that I think looks worth a crap. I just don't care for any of the other figures in this wave. And I do not like the uh, Build-A figure for Thanos. I think it looks terrible. It looks unfinished. Um, it just, it's bad. It just looks bad to me. He looked bad in the movie, too. But anyway, um, I got this at my local Think Geek. It's the only place I have seen the Iron Spider, and they had about two or three at the time of the recording. So if you're in the Indy Metro area, go to the Greenwood Park Mall. They still have a few of them there. They've got a lot of this wave actually there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Iron Spider in the packaging. It's got the Avengers logo up there at the top. We've got the Iron Spider right there. It comes with a build apart figure. It says Avengers Infinity War and it says Iron Spider. Side of the package has uh, some artwork, very uh, Alex Ross looking to me um, in a purple tone because I guess Thanos, you're gonna hear the birds in the background because they're just loud today. But yeah, uh, definitely interesting looking. Uh, back of the package here, oh, oh, we didn't do any close-ups. Uh, so here's a close-up of the figure and package. There's the logo. Uh, here's the artwork on the side. Um, looking all kinds of cool. Back of the packaging, it's got the Iron Spider there. I don't like the fact out of the gate how it doesn't have interchangeable hands. Um, I also don't like how it doesn't come with the little claw things. The Titan figure with the electronics uh, comes with it. If you have not seen that, I'll throw a picture of that right here. So taking a look at this Titans Hero Series uh, Power FX figure, I got a sneaking suspicion we are going to see the golden arms in the Infinity War movie. So uh, spoilers, uh, I think it's going to happen, which is pretty cool, I think. But yeah, so I guess that's a spoiler. He's going to have those in the movie, which I do like. I think that's pretty cool because it's very true to the comic. Um, the other figures in the wave, I just don't care for these. I don't like them. Um, the only one of interest is Songbird. Why Iron Man doesn't come with a Build-A-Part, um, I don't know. I don't like the Thanos. It just looks like it's unfinished, and I just really, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I, I, I can't say any more about that. Um, we get a tiny little write-up up here, so just kind of close up. There's the figure. Yep. Um, uh, you want the write-up, right? Um, focus. Ding. If you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And then, yeah, there's the really crappy Thanos. Ugh, just looks like garbage. All the other figures in the wave, again, don't impress me much. Uh, the only ones that halfway impress me, uh, Songbird here, and then, uh, uh, meteorite mega girl or whatever her name is. I don't know. Um, that looked kind of interesting, but. Uh, really, this is the only figure in the wave that had any interest for me. So let's go ahead and get the Iron Spider out of box and see what we think. So here we have Spider-Man out of the packaging, and I gotta say, I like this figure quite a bit. Even though I think it's missing a lot of accessories, I mean, it's very basic to me. Um, I wish he had some uh, different web uh, slinging hands, or not web slinging hands, but I wish he had like the wall crawling hands and fisted hands. I think that would have been nice, but for the most part, the figure itself is very cool. He still needs those legs on the back um, coming out of the suit. I think we're going to get that in the movie. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I think that would be cool. Um, again, uh, I, ju I just, I see that happening. Now, um, articulation on this figure. Very, very nice. Uh, let's see here. So it's, it's pretty much what we've gotten with other Spider-Man figures. There could be a little bit more articulation in it. Um, I would have preferred. Now the plastic feels very hollow on here. Um, reminds me of the um, Deadpool Venom, uh, Venom pool figure. 
Uh, his head, let's see here, head can move back and forth. It feels a little wobbly on there, um, and it's kind of loose, but it's not too loose, I guess. Um, he can look that far down, and then he can look pretty far up, which is really, really nice. Um, he does have an ab crunch that goes down really far, which is nice. And it goes back that far, which is pretty cool. He's got uh, the butterfly joints up here, which I do like. That is very nice. Um, the joints are very stiff on this figure, uh, probably because it's new, I guess. And then, uh, let's see here. He's got arm joints that go up, but they kind of fight with the butterfly joints. But they will go. There is a twist at the upper arm. He uh, does have a double-jointed elbow which is nice. He's got a twist at the wrist, and then, as you saw, he can move his wrists on the hinge, um, which, I mean, really going down is about the only thing that's worthwhile on this. Um, he's got a twist at the waist, which is nice. His legs kick up that far. They don't kick back very far. Um, they go out about that far, which is good. He has a twist at the upper leg, and then he has a double-jointed uh, knee, if I can there we focus. go. So yeah, that's nice. I like that. And then um, his feet have hinges and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his widest possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the sculpt and paint of this figure. I really did not care for this suit when I first saw it in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, but it has grown on me, and the more I look at this action figure, and the more I pose it, the more I like it. Um, I'm used to the comic version of the Iron Spider, where it's all red with the gold spider and eyes and the three legs that come out the back, but this redesign is very, very cool. I love the gold paint apps. I think it looks good. All the paint is very clean on this figure. Um, and the other two figures I saw were pretty similar. Um, it's very shiny uh, where it needs to be shiny and dull where it needs to be dull. I like the web work. The eyes look good. The back looks good. The spider looks good there. Um, it's painted well in the butterfly joint. So overall, they did a great job on the QC on this figure. Uh, which is, to be honest, kind of shocking. I mean, it can be real hit or miss with Hasbro factories at times, it seems. But they definitely nailed this character, and I think they needed to because it's going to be a, a key uh, figure in the movie. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, great paint, uh, great look. Love the gold, the black. The spider looks good going down the suit. Um, the web shooting hands look good, but I wish we had alternate hands. That would have been really, really nice. Uh, the blue and the gold look good. Uh, the blue is almost a black. And to be honest, I wish they would have just gone all black on this design instead of the blue. I think that would have looked better with the gold and the red than what we have here. Um, personally, I think I would have rather have seen this design because I like the way the design looks. Um, I'd like to have seen an all red design with just the gold spider uh, weaving around the body. I think that would look cool. This is a little bit busy. But uh, it works, and it really kind of sings of the Iron Man armor, which is nice. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, uh, paintwork, very nice. I like all the little gold detail all the way around the legs. Uh, very, very cool. Um, the web work looks nice. Everything's pretty decent. I wish there was a swivel at the top of the boot on the figure, though. That is one of the few places that it doesn't have the articulation I wish it did have. Um, but uh, you can get it in some pretty decent poses even without. Uh, but again, great job on the gold pinstripes, man. They could have really botched this, and they didn't. And for that, I'm grateful. For comparison, here we have the Iron Spider with a couple co-stars of Avengers Infinity War. Here he is with the movie line Teenage Groot and the movie line Black Widow. And he is shorter than both of them, and he should be. He's a kid. He's a teenager. Um, I think that he fits into scale well with these characters. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he looks pretty good. Uh, Groot looks almost animated compared to these other guys. But, oh, man, I keep, every time I see the spider suit, I like it more and more and more, which is very cool.
And here we have the Iron Spider next to another uh, fellow castmate, the Pink Panther, I mean Black Panther, and uh, Supergirl. Supergirl's not in the movie, but uh, I figured I'd show it off next to a Mattel figure. So yeah, definitely cool. I'm definitely digging the figure, and I think it is a great movie-verse figure. Now, I would be remiss if I did not uh, show off the Build-A-Figure part for this uh, character. This is the only thing he comes with. This is Thanos' leg, and uh, it is double-jointed uh, at the knee there, and then it's got a very nice ankle pivot. Um, it's a solid piece. Uh, that is a very solid leg. I will give it that. Um, I don't really have any intention of building Thanos because I don't like the way the figure looks. I just don't like it. Um, if I do get it, it will be because I'm going to do a toy versus toy uh, comparison between the Walmart exclusive when I finally get a hold of it and this build a figure. So I don't know. If you would like to see that, leave a comment below because frankly, like I said, I just don't have the interest. So is the Iron Spider from Avengers Infinity War a figure that you want in your Marvel Legends collection? I was going to say Transformers Collection for a second. Um, you know, I'm going to say yes uh, if you like the movie-verse stuff. Uh, from all the Tom Holland incarnations of Spider-Man we've gotten so far in the Marvel Legends line, I think this one's my favorite, uh, probably because of the design of the suit. I love the gold. I think that looks really nice. I um, think they did a good job with the paint, uh, the eye sculpt. The biggest drawback I've got on the figure is uh, the hands. I wish we had more than just web-slinging hands. Um, two extra sets of hands would have been nice. I'd like to have uh, some wall-crawling hands and some fisted hands, and I would have been perfectly happy with this. Well, I can't say that because I want the iron legs to come out from the back. Uh, I know they're going to be in the movie. I can just feel it. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's actually going to make the movie? I do. I don't know. We'll see, I guess, here in a month or two. But, um, yeah, definitely very cool. If you can find him, definitely picking up. I think he's for sure worth it. And if you're building Thanos, then, well, you got to have him. So there he is, the Iron Spider from Avengers Infinity War. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Like us on Facebook and look for more videos in the future.